Ja. Så, Monday. Monday, what day have we got here? The 12th. Monday, 12th February, I think. Okay, and we're back on the uh, pull ups, back day, back and biceps, back biceps, maybe a bit of grip, yeah, back biceps, grip. Um, so, Monday, let's see, so Friday was carb up day, Saturday, I did a quite heavy workout on the uh, legs, squats and deads. Uh, Sunday was um, punch bag, so we're back to the uh, the three day cycle. So pull, push, legs, pull, push, legs. Okay, just uh, doing this lightly, just as a warm up. After the workout, I am going to give this, uh, or right at the end, as a finisher. As a finisher, I'm going to do this a little bit better. Okay, so apparently this is this is a lat, lat exercise, apparently. But yeah, you're pushing. You can feel it slightly on the lats. I'm just, just pushing it into me. Yeah. Okay. And if I put it on the floor, you won't be able to see it, will you? But, uh, but under my feet, I'm just doing a sort of like a bent, a bent row type thing. Interesting. Interesting. But, as I say, I'm not trying to do it with any great vigour, just warming up a little bit. Okay, a little bit of lubrication. A little bit of my, my band. Bit of band. Adults. Is that laps? Possibly. Feels like laps, yeah. Bit of rowing tight movement. Joint lubrication. Okay, so we're getting getting quite deep into February now, and my idea is uh, as we get to the end of the month to explore the uh, heavier end, and then at the beginning of the month drop the weight down and go back again. Yeah, hopefully. Each uh, monthly cycle will be an improvement on the last. But it's all it's all played by you. I mean, today I had a, a quite a stressful time really. I got a cracked windscreen and I had to find, I had to well work out and uh, on the internet work out how you get this mended. You know how you get this uh, remedied. Uh, apparently, it all goes through car insurance. I paid twenty-five pounds, I believe. Um, but I had to, you know, drive out, make an appointment, drive out there, find the place, wait, wait around for a couple of hours. Yeah, and it's a, a bit stressful, a bit, I mean, it's a bit stressful. Yeah, uh, and it just made me think that you know, it's uh, there's so much in daily life that you can't you can't control, and it does have an impact on your on your training. Okay, so last time it was 10 kilos, and this time I'm going to go make a big jump to 15. Uh, so it's not really I can't really I can't really compare it to last time. It's going to be a very very different different kettle of fish with a, such a significant weight jump involved. But I'm thinking probably going to get some fives. 
I don't know. We'll just have to see, really. Okay, can I get inside this without making a tremendous racket? There you go. Okay, so we've got 15 kilos hanging. What's the timer saying? Oh, I can't wait for that. Let me adjust the timer. I'm going to get ready for the first set. I imagine it's going to be about five reps, I'm going to guess. That's a good guess, that's all it is. Last time was with 10 kilos, I got 8. So last time with 10 kilos, it went 8, 7, 6, 6, 7. 8, 7, 6, 6, 7. And this time, going to 15 kilos. So, you know, you can't really compare it. Well, only approximately. But I'm, I'm going to say to add 5 kilos into those two reps is, is a fair deal. Yeah? Hopefully by the end of the month we'll go up to about 20 kilos and then when March comes go back down probably to probably to body weight and repeat the process you know hopefully making advances so it's not it's not simply go back to the beginning repeat repeat endlessly endlessly it's go back and try and beat the previous numbers. All about numbers in my book. What works, works. If you can train six days a week and beat the numbers, great. If you can train one day a week, if that's it, if, that, if you can't beat the numbers without reducing to one day a week, then you go down to one day a week, if that's what your, what, what your circumstances dictate. Yeah? I think it's, yet again, in my mind, it's the uh, be like water, adapt to circumstance, adapt to the reality. Don't be, don't be absolutist. Don't try and, don't try and make a, a fixed framework. When in reality, you cannot, you cannot, you cannot fix your life. No. Life happens. Demands are made on your energy. Demands are made on your time, your emotional well-being, whatever it may be. Yeah, you know, don't tell. Don't, you know, you might, you might, you know, emotional well-being. You know, okay. You have, 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 a, have a big row with your wife. See what that does for your deadlift. <laughs> okay, I'll see you. Five, I imagine. Six, that's good. Six, six. So last time was eight, seven. This time is six, six. Some good stuff, really. I believe. Eight, seven with ten kilos. Six, six with fifteen kilos. I'm gonna take that. It's been okay. Interesting. Bit of a. Bit of a novel stimulus. When you when you when you make the uh, 
fairly significant changes. So yeah, I mean, I mean, one strategy that people employ is they'll, you know, let's say they put 100 kilos on the bench or whatever, you know, do a few reps of 100 kilos. Uh, so next week they'll they'll micro load, you know, 100 and a half kilos, putting two quarter kilos on each end, which is, you know, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. It's a it's a viable strategy. Uh, but I think that if you make sort of like more sudden movements, uh, you do get, you do get an element of um, unaccustomed exercise catching your body off guard, hopefully making it react. Whereas if, if you go from a hundred, let's say you do five reps of the hundred kilos on a bench press, and then next week you do five reps of the hundred and a quarter, you know, you, very possibly your body did not detect any threat whatsoever. It's already adapted to it. Uh, I, I'm not sure. I'm not saying that I know for sure. I'm just uh, speculating. Yeah, no doubt about it. Though, over time, it's going to work. So, swings around it, I suppose. But yeah, I, I, I think also again, 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 I keep saying this: a psychological aspect. It's psychologically stimulating to do something that's quite different. So, jumping from 10 kilos to 15 kilos, in my mind, there's a thing like. Well, what's going to happen? It's quite, it's quite interesting. Yeah, I'm not quite sure how it's going to pan out. So, adds a little bit to the fun, I believe. A little bit. Uh, keep it fresh. Keep you on your toes. Keep your body guessing. Attack it in different ways. I'll stimulate it. You don't like the attack idea. Okay, can we get five this time? Come on. Yep, five, good five, definitely. Could have gone for six, but. I do, I, do, I do believe that the struggling to the bitter end, I don't get me wrong, it has its place. So struggling to utter failure, it has its place. Uh, but I think you can overdo it and uh, you know, it's a bit like you can uh, overcook your food. You know, the cooking is useful but you can overcook, and I think the similar thing may apply to failure training. Uh, it's f for what you get out of it. Um, you know, you might get half a rep or whatever at the end of a set. For what you get out of it, the price is very high as regards stress on your system. Now, I've even noticed this on the heart rate monitor when you when you when you when you measure the the, the, the sets with the heart rate monitor. If you go to absolute real failure and a little bit beyond maybe you know hold you know you know static holds that sort of thing slow negative at the end static hold that sort of thing you know the heart rate shoots up so that extreme effort comes with a high price tag but I'm not saying you know I'm not I'm not, I'm not saying you know uh, Two reps in reserve or whatever. You know, I, never, I never use a reps in reserve idea at all. That's the honest truth. Yeah. You know, every set is pretty hard, at least. Yeah. You know, um, and mostly the idea, as I keep repeating, it's going by the it's beating the book, going by the numbers. I mean, I just got two sets of six. Uh, so I thought, you know, a set of five is going to be hard. And it was hard. But it wasn't. It wasn't extreme. It wasn't. It wasn't absolute failure. Possibly I would have got six. But as I say, you don't have to uh, lay it all on the line every set. Uh, my, other, my, my other saying that's crept into, the, into, into, uh, into these videos, he who fights and runs away, <laughs> Let's fight another day, yeah? 
It's not all about glory on one day, it's a long term. Okay, five again. Come on, should get five. Seems to me uh, quite a good trade. Yeah, if you think about it, I mean, in one sense, in one sense, the, the added weight has gone up by a third, from 10 kilos to 15 kilos. But I suppose the reality is, uh, my body weight plus uh, plus the weight. So let's say that as a, a rough ballpark. Let's say I weigh 80 kilos. I do, I, do, I do think I weigh slightly under, but let's say 80. Okay. Add 15. I'd, I'd 10, 90. So I've gone from 90 to 95. Which is what? About 6% or so? So it depends how you look at it. But very often I find that um, it's much more realistic to add weight rather than reps. I mean, let's, let's say you do six reps and you add a rep. Okay, you, you, you know, so from six to seven, that's what? 15% um, increase? Yeah? In other words, a big jump, a very big jump. Sometimes, sometimes it works. But I, I, I find that just manipulating both, let's say, you know, and it's all improvised, it's all plain by ear. You know, manipulating the reps, manipulating the weight. I don't like high reps, but I do them because I think they're useful. I think it's useful to, to go into that sort of like territory way that you're not used to operating in. You know, do what do what do what you're weak at. Do what you don't like. You know, at least do some of it. Yeah, I do. I do some of it. Yeah, but it's not by choice. It's it's not by because I like it. You know, I much prefer to work in the sort of like five to t five to eight range. Let's say. Okay, five again. Hopefully, this will be a struggle to get five. Take that has been a, a good session. Nothing seemed to go amiss there. Yeah, I mean I can't really compare it to last session, but it seemed alright to me. 